So Prisma just started a new beta test phase starting with the 2.1 version that was released yesterday featuring a concept that was announced 4 months ago which is the inverse kinematics and in this video I'm going to be showing you how it works. As we can clearly see not much has changed with the UI it's pretty much the same as everything related to the update is all inside the rig button and when we click on that we are greeted with two options which are now the two rigging systems that are in Prisma. And we don't really need to talk about the second one as it was the original rigging system that we had before that clearly didn't get any better. And they also gave us a button for deleting bones which was kinda cool but the whole reason this update was special was because of the inverse kinematic which for some reason was tagged as humanoid. Probably because it was limited to only humanoid models and nobody knows why. So to test it out, I went ahead to download the default Prisma 3D character and as you can see it doesn't have inverse kinematics because it's not yet applied. And to apply it, first we'll have to get rid of all the bones using our brand new delete bone button. And now that we have a clean model, we'll click on the rig button and select humanoid. And then you align the markers to the joints of your model and click on the confirm marker. And now inverse kinematics should be applied to your model. And using this rig setup is very easy as all you need to do is to drag the limbs to where you want them to go and if the joint is facing the wrong way you drag it into position and as far as this beta version is concerned try and keep this handle button enabled because the moment you disable it you are most likely going to run into issues 